condemned the attacks and urged people everywhere to reject hate. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett joins us from Midtown. N.J. Well, Joe, 605 Third Avenue, as you know, the Midtown offices of the Anti-Defamation League, where it was made absolutely clear this afternoon that hatred is a learned behavior and that in no way, as one speaker put it, can you stop hate with a guard at the doorway of a synagogue. Now, this press conference wrapped up uh, about 30 minutes ago, Joe. They said ignorance is the problem. Education is the solution. That was a message here from a diverse group of political leaders and religious figures from across the city. All of them standing in solidarity with the Jewish community in Pittsburgh as that city struggles to come to grips with an unconscionable, unspeakable act. One speaker after another here called for mutual respect for all religious groups, insisting that all of us need to find more effective ways to talk with one another, to dispel stereotypes, and to open eyes and to open minds. Rabbi Joe Potasnik spoke eloquently as he always does in urging people not to be intimidated, not to live in fear. We come here today to say we will not stop living, we will not stop loving, we will not stop going to services, we will not stop having brises, bar mitzvahs, weddings, and all the celebrations of life, because we feel that is the best response to those who seek to destroy us. Hate is a learned behavior. And we need to get to young people so they know that this kind of behavior is not going to be tolerated in our society. And we need to be coming together more and not siloing ourselves off. And that is when it's going to prevent these kind of acts of hate, not people protecting institutions with, with weapons. Well, the press conference, as I said a moment ago, ended about 30 minutes ago. Among the participants, the city's public advocate and imams and ministers. The event organized by Evan Bernstein of ADL. Yes, education is crucial, but so too is resilience. We're live in Midtown, NJ Burke at Channel 7 Eyewitness News.